was the perfect break. And we're gonna go explore this little river trail before we get back on the wall because it looked pretty intriguing. All right, just a way down to the next street in the river. It was cool, fun finding these little paths. Golden ball behind us, right down there, back on the walls. Maybe that's the oldest church in uh, in York. The one, uh, so we were in the graveyard that was the torn down worship version of St. Mary's Bishop Hill Senior and it doesn't exist there anymore, but that's St. Saint, Saint Mary's Bishop Hill Jr., which I think they might call the oldest church in York, which there is, I don't know, when was that time? Like around 900, something like that. We're coming up on Micklegate Bar, which is the, what is this, Western entrance, something like that, to the city. Maybe the most important entrance, I don't know. This is Micklegate Bar. It was actually mentioned in Shakespeare as the uh, gates where uh, the heads of people would be spiked on. And I think even Richard III's, or Richard of York's head was spiked on here in maybe, was it the play Henry VI? Something like that. There's someone up there on the wall right there. So they have, you have a uh, kind of a Norman base with a, um, a later tower on top. Make sure I don't get run over here. Micklet Bar is named after um, the word Micklet, which, which means Great Street. And this would have been the main great entrance into York where um, kings would have come through this gate. There's a, there's a tradition that happens here when a new king is crowned and he comes to York. There's a sword that the city of York gives to the king. The king takes it and then returns it to the city kind of as he's, he's granting the power back to the city and then after he does that or she does that they're allowed to walk through the gates to the city so the heads of enemies might be would be posted on this gate somewhere up it's either on the battlements here or maybe on the very top of the tower on top of the statue you can see the heads of the people who had been executed here in 1642, civil war had broken out between King Charles I and Parliament. York remained loyal to the king and in April 1644 was besieged by a parliamentarian army commanded by Yorkshireman Sir Thomas Fairfax. Charles's nephew Prince Rupert was sent to help York with an army of 15,000 men. He forced Fairfax's troops to break off the siege and retreat. While in pursuit, Rupert met disaster west of York at Marston Moor where he suffered a crushing defeat. The siege was renewed and lasted until July 1644 when the devastated Royalist army opened Micklegate Bar and marched out in surrender. The bar was left undamaged. All right, here's it. The walls actually go right through the middle of the, uh, of the uh, Micklegate. These big arches were created for trains originally. Okay. It was maybe right over here. Single See, that's box. the old railway or signal box. The old this is maybe the box. most, the highest feeling section of the wall because it's way down there. It's really not that far down to that part, but it's, it's probably, I don't know. Wow, what is that 40 feet down there to the base of that building? Not only that, but the walls lean out or in. Okay, we're on this part of the walls, the western walls that are right by the rail station, all over there. And then the old rail station would have been right there where they have a bike shelter now, just in front of that Hampton Inn. And uh, they reused a lot of the materials from there to build it. And then a lot of these buildings, um, new buildings, old buildings, there's some railway related. Um, some where like a rail rolling stock would have been 
constructed at one time and then there's like tunnels that come into the city where trains would have come into this part of the uh, of the city through the walls. Very modern York. All right, that ends the wall walk for us. We're gonna skip out, it's raining a little bit. We're gonna go find another pub. It's been about another two hours since we were back at the uh, the Golden Ball. Oh, there's the NOLA. Is that New Orleans? And um, we missed the multi-angular tower, but we got to see that on another tour. That's the edge of the Roman wall. And so I might throw a pick in that uh, so we can see that. And so we're gonna head into this, uh, the old bank maybe, which is right over there. Or there's a new House of Trembling Madness. Oh, it's two, House of Trembling Madness two. We tried that one the other night. So fun time, go do the York Wall Walk. It was super cool. If you like this content, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing. Woo! Finally got home from the flat, eight hours later. <laughs>